A very good morning and welcome to this morning edition of Yes 101's Visual Radio, bringing you the news. I'm Harshni Patrana. And before we take a look at our news in detail, let's take a look at our headlines first. News first headline. Important to maintain fiscal benchmarks, says Ranil. Sajid pledges responsible use of executive powers. AKD challenges Ranil Vikramasinghe. In your international headlines, Netanyahu asks forgiveness over hostage deaths as protests continue. And in your sports, Sri Lanka's Samitha wins silver and sets new world record at Paris Paralympics. Sports News Now on to our top story this morning is coming from the sports arena and that is uh, with Sam Tadulan winning the silver and setting a new world record at the Paris Paralympics 2024. Now, Samitha Dulan Korituwaku has achieved a remarkable milestone by winning his second Paralympic medal in the men's F64 Javelin Finals. After securing a bronze in Tokyo, Korituwaku has now earned a silver medal with a personal best throw of 67.03 meters. This outstanding performance not only earned him the silver but also set a new world record in his classification that is F44. Korituwaku had claimed a bronze medal at the 2020 Tokyo Paralympic Games with a then personal best of 65.61 meters. He had also backed a bronze medal at the World Para Athletics World Championship 2023 in Paris, France. Attached to Sri Lanka Army, Warrant Officer 2 K. A. Samit Dulan of Sri Lanka Corps of Military Police earlier achieved a world record in the para javelin throw F44 category with a distance of 66.49 meters in the Kobe 2024 Para Athletics World Championship held in Japan. Now he won the silver medal in the para javelin throw event while marking a world record in his representing category that is F44. And now we move on to our next uh, political arena that is coming from the presidential candidate, independent presidential candidate, Ranil Vikramasinghe. Now, independent presidential candidate Ranil Vikramasinghe has raised critical questions about the economic policies proposed by his rivals, emphasizing the importance of maintaining fiscal benchmarks. Now, he pointed out that while some candidates promise to lower taxes and duties, they fail to provide alternative sources of income, which could lead to a significant reduction in revenue. is do you want to continue with this or are you going to give it up these kind of the conditions cannot be changed in the sense the benchmark the benchmarks have been put as to what the government revenue should be what our expenditure should be those are conditionalities in other words you can't change them okay you can decide that you will reduce some tax and increase the others as long as you meet the benchmark but the benchmark can't be changed now this is the first instance the first decision we have to make according to the other parties they are going to lower they are going to lower taxes they are going to lower duties and how are they going to do it they have no substitute what is the substitute sources of income? What you are calling for is a reduction of our revenue. On the other hand, they will be giving many welfare measures, there will be handouts, increase. So basically you are reducing your revenue and you are increasing your expenditure. Where are we going? You want to go down that path? You remember this? Can you remember it? 219. President Gotabe reduced the reduce the taxes, reduce the revenue, and in the budget gave a lot of handouts. 
So by 2022, we had to face our economy. Now the question is, do you want to go down that path again? Do you want to go down that path again? This is the question before us. International News. Thank you.